Sarasota police say burglaries are up 30 percent. So what is causing the increase and how can you help combat this? SNN Local News 6 reporter Grant Boxleiner spoke with a woman who says she has been victimized four times this year. He has more on this story. Guys and see what they can do. Sarasota resident Joanne Hillman says she's been an ongoing target for thieves. Just last week, unknown suspects did about $3,500 in damage to her Volkswagen. Came out this, the other day and it was up on the cinder blocks and the tires and wheels have been gone. In three earlier burglaries, someone stole cash, silver coins, and jewelry. Your initial reaction is fear, scared, but then you get angry. It's the first three, the burglaries, were all assigned to detectives, uh, and a detective investigated that case. In one of the three cases, there was a named suspect, and the named suspect has been interviewed by the detectives, and they were unable to develop probable cause to arrest that suspect. But Hillman's cases are not isolated. Police Captain Paul Sutton says break-ins are on the rise across the city. There's been a significant increase in burglaries this year. Uh, there's been about a 30% increase in burglaries compared to the same time period last year. And Hillman says she can't help but wonder if past cuts to the police budget are making the problem worse. They're not saying that they're strapped too thin, but I feel they are. They used to have, you know, every, I could count every 15, 20 minutes there would be a police car going by. Records show that in 2007 the Sarasota Police Department had an all-time high of 204 officers. Through recent budget cuts, that number is now down to 176. When we made those staff cuts, we tried uh, to spare the officers that actually respond to calls, the patrol division, and also the criminal investigation division, the portion of the division that do follow up for major case investigations. Sutton says factors that may contribute to the recent spike in burglaries include high unemployment rates and an increase in vacant homes. Empty houses were noted by police in Hillman's burglary reports. We're canvassing her neighborhood and we're finding vacant residences. And when there are vacant residences, it makes it easier for crime to occur because obviously there aren't witnesses. Hillman has installed an alarm system but says she still supports the police department. I think the police are phenomenal, all right? They're not the ones making the budget cuts. Reporting in Sarasota, Grant Boxleitner, SNN Local News 6. Sarasota police say residents can help reduce residential burglaries by reporting suspicious activity in their neighborhoods immediately. Now, index crimes in the city are up 15 percent so far this year. Those offenses include murder, robbery, aggravated assault and grand larceny.